There is a new state-of-the-art image generator we can run at home called High Dream. They've provided a few example images there to give you an idea of the stuff it can generate. And further down, at least according to these tables, we can see it's the best image generator out of all of those listed. It has an MIT license, which is awesome, gives us lots of freedom, although it does use other models with different licenses, such as Llama. This one is an absolute beast, so if you want to run it locally, you will need at least 16 gig of VRAM, and that's for the cut down NF4 version. If you don't have that, then you can always use the Hugging Face Space they provided to test with instead. Click the link and it will take you straight over there, but I'm going to be running it locally. Just for a change, I won't be using Comfy UI, though there are some nodes in development for it. This one, for example, uses an old Auto GPTQ implementation, meaning unless you're running on a special esoteric environment, the chances are you won't be able to get it running. I did update their earlier code to use the GPTQ model just to give it a quick test, but then found it also didn't switch models too well either, hence me going for the Gradio interface instead. Someone else had the same idea, so there is now a version using GPTQ model, but I haven't tested theirs. Either way, I expect we'll have something that everyone can use in Comfy UI fairly soon, and maybe even something that isn't a wrapper. For the time being then at least, let's check out this cut down High Dream 4-bit quantized version. It's super easy to install being just a single pip install command, though like they suggest down here, it is best to run that in its own environment using VN or whatever your favorite method is. You can then just fire up their web dashboard and you'll get something that looks a bit like that. Here you can see they've got three different model types, dev, full and fast. The models get downloaded automatically, so you don't need to do anything other than pick the one you want to use. What's the difference between them? Well, you can see here for yourself with my wonderful sign holding rodent wizard test. This first one is what they call fast, which took 25 seconds to do its 16 steps on my 3090. The quality looks pretty decent to me, and I even appear to have the correct number of fingers. Very nice indeed. The full version does 50 steps, which took about two and a half minutes for me, and looks like this. Um, now, I don't think the quality is quite as good, and it seems to have added a cat, though of course your mileage may vary. I'm also not quite as keen on the rodent, but well, that's the full version. Finally, the dev version, which took 42 seconds to do the 28 steps. Well, to me, uh, this is my personal favorite. I do like the image quality even if it has added a rather weird looking cat as well. The brickwork, pavement and cobbles also look very good. Trying it with longer text and obviously it can't handle that at all in fast mode. What is that? I got a Lucy shirt. Yeah, all right, interesting spelling. But I mean, overall, the image quality is very good, especially as this is a cut down version. The full version almost gets there with the text, though I'm not quite as keen on that rodent face generation. But on the other hand, it is actually closer to what I asked for, which was a vector art style logo of a rodent's face. Dev once again gives a very nice looking output and the text is fairly close as well. If you're wondering how well this can generate human faces and if they've got flux chin, there's a couple of examples here. Once again, it has issues following the prompt. As you can see, it doesn't like to give her the two different colored eyes. Just quickly skipping between these versions. So we've got the dev, the full and the fast. You can see the dev and the fast version very, very similar, but the full version completely different there. She's looking towards us. One place where Flux really fell down was being able to do different styles. So let's have a look at this, see what High Dream can do. So this is a painting of an evil looking cat, which looks pretty good with the dev model there. And the full version, well, I don't know, it's tricky. It's definitely done better on the face. I think that's a, a much better sour expression than that one, but then it does, seem a bit sort of blurry, but then is that a, a better painting style? Difficult to say, up to you. 
another style then, and this one is meant to be a gritty comic art style manga image of a bearded hippie. Uh, he's meant to have one arm behind his head, not both of them, so it did quite well on the style, but as for following the prompt, not quite. The full version does, well, better follow the prompt in that he's got one arm behind his head, but this is far too realistic, so it's not really got the style. Going back to the fast version, and this one I think did pretty well, because we've got three different subjects, and they do indeed follow the prompt. It's not quite a cubist art style, but it's still a fairly good image. Sticking with fast, and this time we're trying for a pencil sketch style drawing. It's done very well with a woman dressed as a banana. Not quite sure about what's going on there with the number of fingers and things, but all right, yeah, that's pretty good. Trying this with the dev version, and I think it's a little bit better in some ways and once again worse in others. The fingers and things here, a little bit weird, although it's probably better than the previous version. I don't know, difficult to say. The art style, you see, that's definitely a sort of, well, coloured pencil sketch. That one, far too realistic. The banana outfit is very good, so difficult to tell. It's got some bits which are good. I mean, the quality's there, but is it following the prompt? trying for some slightly more creative prompting, this time a vector art SVG style face made out of various letters in a variety of fonts with a light blue background. It gives it a good go. This is the full model, so it should be the best at it. It's certainly got some letters in there. Yeah, I guess it's done what I asked. Going for a slightly longer prompt this time. Decent enough image. However, what I did ask for was a man with four arms. There's meant to be four rodents in there, and there's only two. The rest of it, of course, is pretty good, and well, I do quite like the output. Not a lot of things have legs and one eye, but this is one of the few image generators that did quite well. A 3D render of a huge one-eyed cyclops wearing a t-shirt and a loincloth outside his cave. So I think that one, very good indeed. Once again, the full model for this one. One more test with dev and a long prompt, and I think this one did pretty well. There's a few tiny details that seem to have come across in the image quite well. So, for example, I've got the sign that reads LOL bar. We've got that in there, and somebody has obviously stuck large googly eyes on his face, which is quite nice. There's a bar over to the left, which is done, and there are three tables with various seated patrons. One, two, three. All right, I'll give it that. My overall feeling is it does generate quite good looking images, though I'll probably have to investigate things like prompting a bit more to see what works best. A little extra to finish up with then is this Omni Control art for that Ghibli art style, which went viral recently. You might have seen those. There's actually a couple of other ones it can do there. Illustration, Simpsons and Snoopy. Just upload an image and it does everything for you. I did try to get this one running locally as it looks like it was updated fairly recently. And there you can see last week they added LoRa support. However, when you run their Gradio app, it doesn't have that little LoRa select in there. Also, I had a look at this and tried to download those LoRas and couldn't actually find them anywhere. So for now, at least you can only run it online, but hopefully soon enough, we'll be able to run it at home. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day, showing us AI in a really British way.